guys welcome back to my channel um this is a very exciting video it's my first video since hitting a thousand subscribers <laughs> first things first i just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed i know a thousand is not a lot but i've been waiting to hit 1k subs for the longest and it's just crazy to me like literally before like covid started i had maybe 300 subs and here we are it's like just about to be 2022 and i have 1k now and that's like so crazy to think about but um i don't know it definitely i definitely needed that right now i have been feeling a little bit unmotivated haven't been making as many videos as i thought i would after graduating but now i have so 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 many ideas and I can finally like start monetizing my content which is huge like I'm almost like I'm like a step closer to becoming a real youtuber <laughs> yeah like I was saying I have a whole bunch of ideas for future videos um, like especially styling tips I've been really into like just restarting my whole wardrobe so I've been working on that and it's actually turning out how i like it but yeah for my first video i just wanted to sit down and film like an updated everyday makeup look because i haven't posted one in a while and i wanted to use all of my all-time favorite products and i don't think i've ever done that in a video before but i really sat down i showed you guys my all-time faves my staples my holy grails that i've just been using for like a year now and yeah just one last thing trust the process at first i know the footage didn't look great i was kind of messing around with the lighting the whole time because i did this like new setup i did my makeup on my bed with this cute little little background and um i wasn't sure how it looked at first but i thought that this makeup routine was really good for the holidays because it's still a little bit glam but it's not too over the top and the main theme of my video today is glowy like just glowy radiant i'm gonna say that a hundred times throughout this video today i've just been obsessed with like really glowy makeup and just looking really healthy and happy and glowy <laughs> so i'm just gonna stop talking and start getting ready <laughs> Okay, hi guys. Um, so I'm gonna start my face. Just gonna pin. Oh, that looks so ugly. How do people usually use these? Really stupid little pieces. That I they're so ugly. We're just gonna throw that behind us. And I think I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Hi guys. What do you think of my uh, little background? I'm doing my makeup on my bed today. I just got that cute little painting. Where is it? Ah. You guys, I have been loving my makeup routine as of late. I don't know why, but I just think the solution to all of my problems is just glowy skin and a glowy face. So the most important, actually almost across sunscreen if you don't know the importance of sunscreen i don't even know what to tell you i'm like the biggest sunscreen advocate i cannot leave my house without it and if you don't wear sunscreen daily i honestly am judging you because what the hell are you doing like no amount of skincare that you do is gonna make a difference if you're not wearing your sunscreen every day because you're just gonna let me put it this way this is this is what i tell everyone and i really feel like it works do you want to be 50 years old and you're the oldest looking one out of your friend group like the rest of your friends look young still they're fresh and you you have wrinkles and like sunspots everywhere like is that what you want honestly i don't think anyone wants to look the oldest out of their friend group so if you don't want to be 50 and looking like the grandma of the group because i promise you maybe you don't care now but by then you will care at least if you're me anyway yeah wear your sunscreen that's all i really have to say about that the real star of the show here is this guy this makeup revolution glass skin primer you guys like i 
never do my makeup without it. I don't even care if I'm just doing my concealer only routine. I don't even care if I'm only just putting on blush. I am putting on this, this guy. She is fantastic. I just put on like a very little amount because it goes a long way. I promise you it goes a really long way. You don't want to look too oily. And I just put it in my high points. Like, dude. I just put it in my high points like that. Definitely, I always put it on my nose, put it on my chin. And sometimes I put it a little bit above the brow bone. But be careful with that one because oily foreheads, you know what I mean? So, now that I have all that glowy shit on, my next thing is this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I am in the shade 4, which is medium. So this, it is supposed to be worn under foundation for like um, extra coverage, but I honestly just use it as my foundation because it, it's still pigmented, so it's fine. And my concealer carries anyway. It just depends, okay? I like to do this when I want to put feel put together. Whatever. I'm talking so much today. Can I just shut up and do my face? I just put it on. I just do one of these. It's a pretty good match. I had five, the shade five before. It was super dark. But since it was so low coverage, it looked really good. Okay, that was so rude. I literally don't even know what just happened. My camera just stopped recording and then it refused to start and I had to delete a bunch of footage. So I'm guessing it had something to do with my storage on here because I've been filming let me tell you guys i've been filming like i have like two or three youtube videos that i filmed and i rewatched and i just absolutely hated them so i didn't even bother editing i was just disgusted and those will probably never see the light of day so sorry about that okay so i'm just gonna blend it out okay it's looking good so as you can probably see it's not very much coverage like at all really okay so we have our super duper glowy base on i just love it lately i've just felt like this routine makes me feel super just i think if you're glowy it's impossible to look ugly like there's a very fine line though between um, glowy and radiant and just oily and greasy so you do kind of have to be careful um, but I think if you get it right you can't go wrong you just like every everyone looks good when they're glowing that's been my mentality lately okay oh sorry so that was the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer and I'm just gonna blend that out I'm hoping you guys I'm hoping this is close enough. Be even a little bit closer. That was like nothing, sorry. I'm gonna have some redness around my nose all the time. Don't really know why. So I can see that. This concealer though, you guys. Where did I just put it? This concealer, I'm in the shade 3W. This concealer is amazing. You need it. I, I don't even have to set it. Honestly, I set it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. It really just depends. But it is the only concealer I've tried that like literally super high coverage, not drying. This shits on shape tape. Let me just say that. I, I'm not really the biggest fan of shape tape. I was forever, but I don't know. It just actually... Let me not. Shape tape Shape tape was actually good for a little while. I don't want to shit on it. I don't know why we broke up, but um, we're just not going to talk about it. I'm feeling very talkative today and I don't understand why. Next up, completely optional. This is like a fairly um, natural-ish makeup routine, but if you want to do some contour. Wow, I've used it so much. There's actually no writing on it <laughs> anymore. Um... I'm like 90% sure it's, yeah, it's uh, Wet n Wild and it's in shade 806 Where's Walnut. Um, i just do it like that. Mm -hmm. Same thing on the other side. And just one or two dots right there. Sometimes I don't even do that. And then nose color.
Okay. I think I did my nose contour bad. I also put a little right here just because it gives you like a little pout. This step, like I said, is completely optional. I know not everyone likes to cream contour and I don't even really do this every time just because, um, not that it takes very long, but it's definitely not the most natural thing. Okay, that looks really bad right now. I promise I'm gonna blend that out. Then we wanna blend up and into the hairline. I don't know if you noticed, you always wanna blend up, just like that. Do not blend down, it'll pull your face down and people are actively getting surgeries to not look like that, so don't do that. I think my mom gets really mad when this is not blended out on people. Where did my, oh. And I agree, I don't really love that, so I always make sure to blend out my forehead one because I don't like when it looks muddy right here. And then this, I'm just gonna go over it. Just give it a little nice. There we go. Oh, totally forgot. You guys can't see this, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I don't know how to reposition my camera. I feel like I just... <laughs> I feel like I just, oh my god. That was the worst nose contour I've ever done. You guys are gonna have to cut me some slack because my mirror is like all the way over there instead of like directly in front of my face. So literally I don't wanna hear it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush, not yet, but the same brush that I just did with my bronzer because it's the best brush in the world, it's the Real Techniques. It says 200 on it, I think it's like the Oh, oh, expert face brush. Amazing. This, this e.l.f. putty blush in the shade Bali. You guys need it. Like, it is stunning. I have put so many people onto this. I don't know if I've talked about it on my channel yet, but literally amazing. It's fantastic. But I know you're supposed to do all your creams before you do your powder, but for whatever reason, for me, I found that it just looks better for me when I do powder first and then I go do my cream blush. I don't know why. I know you're like super not supposed to do that, but whatever. It's not like it's loose powder anyway. I just use this. I honestly don't know if they still sell this. I, I'm going to feel so bad if they're not selling it, but I did hear they stopped selling it actually a while ago. It's a Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It's my favorite. It literally makes you look face tuned it doesn't get cakey it doesn't crease if you can't tell by now i have really dry skin and it's just it's amazing for me so i just take this and I just i just lightly set under my eyes because like i said that concealer doesn't even really need to be set so i just do a super light uh layer and then i put it on my forehead basically setting my whole face with this except for this area because i don't get oily there and like i put highlight there for a reason so i want it to look really glowy now i'm going to go in with the blush the amazing blush just so you guys can see ow that hurt what it looks like this blush along with my gold earrings and my slick back uh, model off duty bun 10 out of 10, my favorite look. I I swear by that. That is my my holy grail combo is the bun, the blush, and the hoop earrings. Okay. Bear with me, I put it on really heavy because um blush is like the first thing that disappears off your face. So I always go in with a lot because um, I know it's going to come off anyway. Trust me, I know it looks crazy. Give me a second. I promise I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm going to quickly just do my eyebrows. 
I do have them laminated. I think I want to do a video on it because um, I like the way I laminate them in specific. I think I have got it down pretty easy. I don't even use the stick anymore. I usually use an eyeshadow palette for my eyebrows. I'm just doing this because I'm way too lazy to go grab it. And it doesn't really make a difference anyway, except for the other one is faster. When I tell you I can't see my eyebrow right now, it is so far away in this mirror. I'm really just eyeballing it. So for my eyes, I usually just take this guy, the same one that I did my bronzer and my blush with, and I literally just do that. Usually I put it back in the bronzer, but I don't really mind for there to be blush on it because it just melts the whole entire look together anyway. I'm going to do a slight wing on the outside, I think, just like a tiny one, just using eyeshadow. So most of the time, I'll just stop here and not even do mascara because I just hate it. But um, today I will be wearing it because I'm filming. Okay, hi, I'm back. I did my mascara. I got my little tiny wing thing to kind of work out. So I'm feeling good. And since I am kind of talking about my favorite makeup products, I have to talk about the Clinique Black Honey that has destroyed TikTok, been all over TikTok. I finally got my hands on it, but I fell in love. Like, I'm obsessed. It basically looks like this. Let's see if you can see it. It is super, like, it's super sheer and very buildable. So look. I just like to put on like one really light layer. It's perfect. It's literally like your lips but better. You can keep putting it on. It'll just keep getting darker. This is actually pretty dark. I think I... I may have done like a layer too many but I love this it's especially perfect for the holiday season okay this is it for the makeup I told you guys it was gonna be very glowy very cute here, let me also show you guys in different lighting here it is outside I love it I think it looks good all the time I I'm very very pleased. Hey guys, okay, so I just curled my hair um because I'm about to go film the intro that you guys already saw, but I realized I forgot to show you my all-time favorite product, like literally ever, probably more than anything else on this list, and it's this uh, makeup revolution pout bomb, same brand as the glass skin primer. Those two are really the stars of this video, I guess. But this is so amazing. It makes my lips look so good at all times. It's a plumper, just like ever so slightly. Not to where it's annoying. Look at this. Literally, look at that. This is my favorite, 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 favorite lip product of all time. I'll wear this alone. I'll wear it on top of the Clinique. Or you can put on like a brown lip liner and then put this on top. Use this to blend it. And oh my god, it's like the cutest thing ever. But literally, like, they look so good. It makes your lips look just chef's kiss. Amazing. Super cheap. You can get it at like Target, Ulta, wherever. But, um... Yeah, so my hair is done. I actually really love how the curls turned out. If you guys want a tutorial on that, comment down below. But yeah, I'm going to go film the intro, which you already saw. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me sit up straight. I hope that it was very informative. I hope that you found some products that you liked. Trust me on these, you guys. My makeup never turns out bad anymore. I've literally been doing this exact look for six months to a year now and i'm obsessed it works every time and yeah that is all i have to say but thank you guys so much and thank you again for 1k subs i'm just over the moon <laughs> bye